So money problems, you know, consistently come are listed about one of the main reasons in couples getting divorced, right? About 22% in the US is what the statistics says, you know, most divorce are due to, 22% uh, of divorce in the US are due to money issues, right? And so you can imagine that that's, that's about a quarter of divorce cases. So our ability to relate to money then is important if we are to safeguard marriages, if we are to safeguard relationships, right? Uh, it's common conflicts that arise that result in such issues. Uh, uh, the way people handle debt, obviously debt goes to credit card, all of that stuff, spending habits, you know, being open with, with, with the money that each one has or they are healing, ending up the ending ability. And also the way money is used as a form of control, right? Uh, whether the money is used to, um, to bring each other together to, or to push each other apart or to become a lord over, over, over your partner, you know? So uh, all of those results is into 22% of divorce cases uh, by statistics in the US. Uh, it's obviously uh, at the root of this is, is, is like we said earlier on, is whether you're winning the battle within yourself or not, you know, which comes from all the influences we've been talking about so far, being your upbringing, your origin, your family, your community, your society, all of that determines the money imprint that you have or your money now, your money culture. And that comes to bear when you're relating with someone else, right? If you're not able to understand yourself, then you're not able to relate her, right? Right? So if you understand your money story, then it's easy to communicate that to someone else. And it's easy because you understand yourself and you know the basis of understanding your partner, then you know how to relate better. Right. But if you don't know yourself and it's difficult to know someone else, then it's difficult to uh, know what the communication lines should be, what the priorities to be. Then you, you're not able to have uh, a common ground, a common goal, a common focus, you know, and that's pretty much what leads to disaster in relationship uh, where that 22 percent comes from. Right. So uh, our money stories leads to uh, the way, what we expect from each other in, in uh, what, what we expect or not expect in a relationship, you know, and also those expectations, whether they are reasonable, not reasonable, acceptable, not acceptable, whether those uh, expectations are, are, are mutually beneficial or they are seemingly selfish or, you know, the, all of those are, uh, they are determined, you know, by our own money imprint, right? Uh, so obviously we need to understand ourselves. We need to be aware of where we are, then be able to understand where our partner is and find common grounds, you know? Like we typically would say in every relationship, right? There are three persons in every relationship. There's me, there's you, and there's we. And all three needs to be equally served, right? Without none being uh, looked down on for you to have a healthy, life-giving um, marriage or relationship, right? Uh, so, uh, this connects in, in, in um, a money story or money imprint could lead them to people speaking different money uh, language, right? Where we don't understand ourselves, right? Uh, you know, I'm married, I've been married since, uh, how old am I married now? Been married since, uh, I'm 24 years married, right? Going to 25 next year. Um, so I've had that with my, with my wife. We come from two different money stories. Right. Um, I'm a first boy, she's a last born, you know. So the way we relate to money, it's not exactly the same, right? So uh, but we're working towards that. We're working towards that common ground, you know, and that that that's that's helped us in our journey, right? Uh 
So typically, we have to be sincere with ourselves, right? There's a, be a lot of sincerity that needs to be brought to, brought to fore that will help, you know, solve issues where there is a disagreement, as it were, in, in, in or mi misalignment in money stories. Um, so it's not it's not something we avoid, we run away from. It's something that we talk about. Right, it's not something that we avoid because avoidance is just going to be negative and can only get worse. Right, these are things that needs to be talked about, you know, and uh, unresolved as it were.